This is interesting. Mayor, mayor is against illegal guns. You know, this is uh, Mayor Bloomberg's thing. He's largely funded it, although he's got a bunch of other mayors involved with it and, and other groups and other people. Um, they are running a TV ad campaign against Kelly Ayotte. Is it pronounced Ayotte? I think a Ayotte. Ayotte, Ayotte, however you say it. This uh, the the new uh, Republican from uh, New Hampshire. She's a Republican, is she not? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, along with uh, former Congresswoman Gabby Gifford's group. And her approval ratings now have dropped 15%, Senator Ayotte, since she voted to prevent the federal government to prevent gun sellers from asking people if they're terrorists, basically. To prevent, you know, people from, uh, at gun shows from selling guns to terrorists. Or to mentally insane people, violently insane people. Or to people with criminal histories that involve violence. Or with restraining orders against them. By, you know, spousal abuse and things like that. So Kelly Ayotte, you know, she sided with the terrorists. She sided with the mass murderers. They're, dis- they're debating about Mark Pryor because he's a Democrat. And here's the debate. Um, you know, the Republicans were virtually unanimous in saying that they were on the sides of the terrorists. I mean, the Republicans are, <laughs> the Republicans are always on the sides of the terrorists. Look back at the Bush administration. Osama bin Laden wanted an overreaction from us. He wanted to bleed us dry. He said so. You can read you can read his 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 words to that effect. His public it's a book called The Collected Writings of Osama bin Laden. He writes at length about this. How he's you know George Bush is a fool. He's going to get him to overreact. He's going to he's going to spend trillions of dollars. He's going to waste American treasure. It's going to be just he's going to bring us down the same way he brought down the Soviet Union. He's going to destroy the American Empire. And sure enough, George Bush overreacted and spent trillions of dollars and tens of thousands of uh, of Americans uh, left their blood or their limbs. On the, on the soil of Iraq and Afghanistan, and, and thousands died, and hundreds of thousands are coming back with, with uh, post-traumatic stress disorder or other disabilities, depleted uranium. Their children are going to have uh, birth defects and deformities. They are, they are going to have lifelong health problems. And millions of Iraqis in Afghanistan, a- Afghans. So Bush did exactly, exactly what bin Laden wanted. And then he said, eh, no, I'm not going to look for him. I don't, I don't much care about him. I don't think about him that much. I mean, it took, it took President uh, Obama to take out bin Laden. Bush wasn't going to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Republicans are in with the terrorists. Now, you can, you, can, you can accuse me of hyperbole. Prove it. Bush had bin Laden at Tora Bora. He let him go. Afghanistan offered to arrest bin Laden and give him to Bush before 9-11 if we would just, you know, just don't bomb Afghanistan. Your, your problem's not with us. Your problem's with bin Laden. We'll, give, we'll arrest him and we'll hand him to a third party for, for trial. Bush said no. The vast majority of Americans don't know that, but it was right there in the Washington Post. I just find it rather amazing. The Republicans always side with the terrorists. Why? Because they need the terrorists. They need the terrorists because if they don't, it's, 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 the, it's the, this is screenwriting 101. If you want to have a superhero, you have to have a supervillain. The superhero can only be as good as the supervillain. If Superman ran around and stopped bank robbers and 7-Eleven, people sticking up 7-Elevens and, 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 and you know, gangbangers hijacking cars, Superman wouldn't be Superman. He wouldn't be. You've got to have a supervillain. Literally, I mean, this is like screenwriting 101, novel writing 101, fiction 101. The goodness of the good character is defined not by the good character. The goodness of the good character is defined by the evil of the evil character. And for the Republicans to stand around and beat their chest and go, ah, I'm Claudius, I'm the stronger, they've got to have and evil on the other side. This is and this goes all the way back to the time of McCarthy, Joe McCarthy. There they are, communists of the state. They're going to take us down. They're going to look out for the communists. We got to build more nukes. They've always got to have an enemy. 
and they've got to make you and me afraid of that enemy. They've got to terrorize us so that we're so afraid of the supervillain that they can be the superheroes. And, you know, Lindsey Graham's still trying to do it. Well, I think that maybe we should, you know, I'm sorry, Lindsey, I'm not buying it anymore. Oh, but they're terrorists. Well, I don't care. More people die every year in the United States from slipping in their bathtubs than die from terrorism. Are we going to create a national hysteria about bathtubs? Well, no, that's a for-profit industry. You know. Are we going to mandate that they put some no-slip surface on the bottom of them? Hey, it might be a good idea. I don't know if it's been done or not. I, I don't think so. I mean, I know that they do it in hotels. Their insurance companies make them do it. But. 